Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I just wanted to go over a super quick homeschool mushroom activity that we did today for no cost. So we already had this book in our library because it was a book that was recommended when we were studying um, animals last year. So it includes plants and mushrooms and animals. So there's sections here on mushrooms. And so we read a little bit about mushrooms and fungi. And then it has a ton of pictures of a lot of different types. Now, this is very general to the world, I suppose. Um, so I also looked online to find something that was more local. Um, I found a few online blog posts from people in the area who go and look at mushrooms and also found a Facebook page for our area for mushroom hunters. So what we did was we started by looking at our book and reading a little bit about mushrooms and the parts of a mushroom and the life cycle of a mushroom. And my learner took notes. Um, they are not in order, but he, uh, he can point out <laughs> which ones uh, happen in order. So we talked about that. And then we went outside and we just took our iPads and we took pictures um, just in our yard. We thought we might need to go um, walk in the woods nearby, but there were so many in our yard and so many different kinds in our yard that we actually never left our yard. So we went and we took pictures. Um, we tried to get for the purposes of identification. You want to have a picture of the cap, the top part of the mushroom. You want to have a picture of the underside of the mushroom so you can see whether it's gills or sponge or something different. Um, so we tried to get those. So we got on top and sideways and tried to get maybe a little bit under so that we could have some good pictures of those. It's also recommended to identify to do spore prints. So we are doing spore prints and they are sitting outside right now. So when they finish, I'll be sure to add those pictures in here. Um, but we basically just walked around in the yard taking pictures. I would say we spent maybe 30 minutes reading before we went outside and, and taking notes um, and then we walked around outside for probably an hour, honestly, just because um, there were so many different types and we were like zooming in and practicing our photography skills and taking pictures um, from different angles. Um, we live on just under an acre of land and it's mostly wooded. So we had a lot of places to look. We found some on trees, some on logs, um, a lot on the ground, in the leaves, and um, we found a lot of different kinds. When we finished looking around and we felt like we had find, found all the different kinds, then we went back and we picked three of them to do the spore prints. So again, I'll let you know how that goes, but currently what we have done is we have taken the cap um, and cut off the stem as close to the cap as possible and then set it uh, down on, we have three white construction paper and three black construction paper because I don't know what color the spores are going to be. And we're leaving them sitting in the garage so we have one of each kind on a black and on a white so that that way we're kind of covered. Um, and we're going to let them sit for 24 hours and then tomorrow we're going to lift up the caps and we're going to see what kind of patterns um, it leaves on the uh, paper and if we can see the spores and that can also help us. Um, the other thing that we did is that after we set that up, we came inside and we looked through the pictures that we had taken and we looked at our book and at the different types and we made our best guess and then we wrote down a list 
of the different types that we think we have found in our yard. Now we had a lot of different kinds, but we went ahead and we identified about eight. Um, that was about the point where my learner was losing interest um, because we'd been doing mushrooms pretty solidly for uh, about two hours at that point. But again, I think it was about 30 minutes before we went out an hour outside and setting up the spore prints and then about 30 minutes coming back trying to identify some um and then that's it right so that is a short activity um i was the one that handled the mushrooms when we did the spore prints um i used gloves uh, because i do know that some of these can be poisonous though not like touching poisonous poisonous if you eat them but you know what we're just gonna model good safe behavior with mushrooms um so yeah a fun little activity there's i'm sure more stuff you can find on pinterest and you could expand it into quite a um a unit study if you felt like it but just a fun little activity if you need something to break it up and do something a little bit different especially if there's a good season for mushrooms close by so let me know if you have any ideas or if you've ever done a mushroom unit study and share those thoughts thank you